Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. This is part 2 of the top 10 most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical dramas of 2022. I uploaded part 1 of this video last week, so if you haven't watched it yet and you'd like to check it out, click the link in the description down below. I'll also leave links of where to read the novels of the dramas on this list in the description down below. Let me know in the comments section down below which of these upcoming historical dramas you're looking forward to in 2022. Just a reminder guys, the dramas in this list appear in no particular order, so it's not a ranked list. I'll also make a video of the most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical fantasy dramas and modern dramas I'm looking forward to in 2022. And I'll leave the links to those videos in the description down below when I upload them. If you're going to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this one in the future. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 1. The Longest Promise The Longest Promise is an upcoming historical fantasy drama starring Xiao Zhan and Ren Min. The drama is adapted from the novel Zhu Yan by the same author who brought us Mirror Twin Cities. The Longest Promise is a prequel to Mirror Twin Cities starring Li Yi Feng and Yuki Chen, which appeared in part one of the top 10 most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical dramas of 2022. This drama released its trailer during the 2021 Tencent Video Annual Press Conference, and it looks emotional and tearful, at least to me. Anyways, the drama takes place in Kongsang Continent and revolves around a tumultuous love story between Xi Ying and Zhu Yan. Xiao Zhan plays Xi Ying, a prince of Kongsang Continent who gets banished to the mountain to cultivate after his mother was framed. Originally focused on nothing but cultivation, he begins to develop romantic feelings for Zhu Yan, his disciple played by Ren Min, the princess of Qi Yi tribe. Shi Ying and Zhu Yan don't voice out their feelings due to their teacher-student relationship. Their love is forbidden as they find themselves standing on opposite sides in the fight for political struggle and undergo life and death situations together. They eventually put aside their issues and work together hand in hand to protect Kung Sen Continent. The Longest Promise is slated for 50 episodes and is rumored to premiere sometime in the summer of 2022 on Tencent Video. Number 2. Who Rules the World? Who Rules the World is an upcoming historical wuxia romance drama starring Yang Yang and Zhao Lucy. The drama is based on a novel of the same name and it tells a legendary decade-long romance between Hei Feng Shi and Bai Feng Shi and the adventures they embark on together. Yang Yang plays Hei Feng Shi, a handsome and elegant man, and Zhao Lucy plays Bai Feng Shi, an elegant girl. The drama tells a love story that blossomed in blood after a decade of struggle in the martial arts world. Who Rules the World was directed by Yin Tao, who directed last year's hit drama Love and Redemption and Ancient Love Poetry. The drama's production team released their first trailer during the 2021 Tencent Video Annual Press Conference and it's action packed with amazing wuxia fighting scenes and I'm looking forward to it. Who Rules the World is slated for 45 episodes and is set to premiere. 2022 on Tencent Video. Number 3. Imperial Cuisine. Imperial Cuisine is an upcoming historical romance drama starring Xu Kai and Wu Jinyan. The drama is set during the Ming Dynasty and it revolves around the food bureau of the Imperial Palace. Wu Jinyan plays Yao Zijin, a young girl who enters the palace to become a maid of the food bureau who slowly works her way up in the food bureau while improving her craft at the same time. In the process, she makes new friends and gains love. Shukai plays Zuzanji, Yao Zijin's love interest and the Emperor's grandson. This drama is a reunion for both Shukai and Wu Jinyan and as they both star in the 2018 hit drama, The Story of Yan Shi Palace, which shot them to fame, but in that drama, Shukai and Wu Jinyan's characters did not end up together though they loved each other. So fans have also been asking for a reunion where they can finally have a happy ending. So when the cast was announced, fans of Fu Ying's CP of the story of Yanshi Palace were happy because their wish was finally granted and they hope Shu Kai and Wu Jinyan can finally have their happy ending this time around. Imperial Cuisine passed Citrus Ship with a total of 46 episodes and is slated to premiere in the first quarter of 2022 on Mongo TV and Hunan TV. Number 4. Love Like the Galaxy 
Love Like the Galaxy is an upcoming historical political romance drama starring Leo Wu and Zhao Lucy. The drama wrapped filming recently and the production team released new photo stills in a teaser video. The drama is adapted from the novel of the same name by the same author who also wrote the 2018 hit drama The Story of Mingling. Zhao Lucy plays Xing Xiao Shang, a young lady who grew into a willful and headstrong woman after being left to fend for herself whilst her family goes off to war. Raised by her relatives, she finally reaches marriageable age, but her rather unconventional upbringing poses quite a challenge in marrying her all. Among Xiao Shang's three potential matches, there's Ling Bu Yi, the Empress' adopted son who's her love interest played by Liu Wu. After spending some time together, Ling Bu Yi and Xiao Sheng fall in love, but she finds herself involved in the mystery surrounding his family and his identity. The two later work together upholding the righteousness in their hearts as they resolve a national crisis. It's also worth mentioning this is the second reunion of Liu Wu and Zhao Lucy. They both starred together in The Long Ballad, but they were paired with different romantic love interests. Love Like the Galaxy is slated for 66 episodes and the earliest we can see this drama is the fourth quarter of 2022 on Tencent Video. Number 5. The Blue Whisper The Blue Whisper is an upcoming historical Shang-Chi romance drama starring Diraba and Alan Rim. The drama is adapted from the novel of the same by the author who wrote the 2019 drama The Legends. Diraba plays a human with the ability to control demons. She gets ordered by the princess to tame Cheng Yi, a beautiful merman played by Alan Ren. She has to make Cheng Yi do three things, speak human language, grow a pair of legs, and be loyal to the princess. One day, she finds herself in a difficult position as she has to make a choice, her freedom or the merman's freedom. The drama was directed by the same director who directed the 2018 hit shang Shia drama Ashes of Love, so it's worth looking forward to. Anyways, the drama has been split into two parts and it passed censorship. The first part is slated for 30 episodes and the second is slated for 21 episodes, so that's a total of 51 episodes. The Blue Whisper is rumored to premiere in January or sometime in the first quarter of 2022 on Yuku. Number 6. Snow Eagle Lord Snow Eagle Lord is an upcoming historical fantasy romance drama starring Chu Kai and Golanoza. The drama is adapted from the novel of the same name and the drama's production team recently released new photo stills and a teaser video. Snow Eagle Lord has been adapted into a popular anime series and is set in a mythical world in the mainland continent and it tells the story of Donboy Shueying, played by Chu Kai. A boy raised in a small peaceful town whose peaceful life is disturbed when his parents get arrested by a foreign tribe. He's left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his family. Golanoza plays Yu Jingshu, Dongboi Shuiying's love interest. Snow Eagle Lord is slated for 40 episodes and is currently filming. The earliest we can see this drama is the fourth quarter of 2022 or the first quarter of 2023 on Tencent Video. Number 7. The Wind Blows from Long Shi. The Wind Blows from Long Shi is an upcoming historical suspense drama starring Shin Kun and Bai Yu, and they wrapped filming on July 29th after a three month filming period. The drama is adapted from the novel of the same name by author Ma Boyang, who also wrote Luo Yang. The drama's production team released their first trailer for the 2021 Aichi event, and it's suspenseful and intriguing. The Wind Blows from Long Shi is set during the Three Kingdoms period when the Shu Kingdom defeated the Wei Kingdom using powerful crossbows. To attain these powerful weapons, the Wei Kingdom sends spies to infiltrate the Shu Kingdom. Chen Kung plays Chen Gong, a spy hiding in the Wei Kingdom. When the Shu Kingdom receives false reports from Chen Gong, they send Xu Wan Shu, another spy played by Bai Yu, to investigate him. This drama was directed by Lu Yang. The Wind Blows from Long Shi is slated for 60 episodes and is set to premiere on CCTV 8 and Aichi in 2022. Number 8. Till the End of the Moon Till the End of the Moon is an upcoming historical Shang-Chi romance drama starring Luo Yangshi and Bai Lu. 
The drama is adapted from the novel Black Moonlight Holds the Bees script and they released their first photo stills in a teaser video and the drama officially started on November 5th. By Lu plays Lee Susu, the daughter of a powerful sect who ultimately sacrifices herself to rewrite history and the future in a desperate state of wanting to save the world from the clutches of the demon lord. Lu Yunshi plays Ten Taijin, the demon lord. Lisusu gets sent 500 years into the past to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona. The costume and makeup of this drama look top notch but the only thing I'm worried about is the director. This drama will be directed by the same director who directed the 2016 drama Ice Fantasy and the 2017 drama General and I. I personally think General and I was such a wasted drama so I'm kinda worried about this drama but what I know is Lu Yunshi and Bai Lu will bring their characters to life. So I ain't worried about that. This is Lu Yunshi and Bai Lu's second reunion. They both star in a 2020 hit drama Love is Sweet and their chemistry was off the roof. Till the End of the Moon is slated for 40 episodes and is currently filming. The earliest we can see this drama is the full quarter of 2022 or the first quarter of 2023 on Yuku. Number 9. Mimi in Your Sound Mimi in Your Sound is an upcoming historical romance drama starring Shu Jiaqi and Wei Ziming. The drama is set in the Great Dongxin continent and Wei Ziming plays young master Yun Mu, a man known for his love of music. While he was on his way to recruit musicians, he heard Su Ryofei's music played by Shu Jiaqi and unwittingly discovers that she is an extraordinary existence for him. As such, he tries to lure her to become his private musician. Little do they know, their fates have long been entangled due to a magical light. Mimi and Your Sound is slated for 24 episodes and is set to premiere 2022 on Aichi. Number 10. The Romance of Who Are Wrong 2 The Romance of Who Are Wrong 2 is an upcoming historical romance drama starring Yuan Hao and Zhao Jiayi. This is a sequel to the 2019 drama The Romance of Who Are Wrong, starring the same leads. Anyways, Who Are Wrong and Shen Sheng Ching were due to marry, but a hasty imperial decree changed all of that. Who Are Wrong, played by Zhao Jiayi, was commanded to marry a hostage foreign prince to ease the tension between her country and a foreign country. Shen Sheng Cheng, played by Yuan Hao and Who Are Wrong, have no choice but to head to a foreign kingdom to salvage the situation. Yuan Hao and Zhao Jiayi had great chemistry in the romance of Who Are Wrong, so I can't wait for this drama to premiere. The romance of Who Are Wrong 2 is slated to premiere sometime in 2022 on Mongo TV. If you haven't watched part 1 of this video yet, you can check it out the link in the description down below. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical dramas of 2022 you're looking forward to. I'll leave links to where to read some novels of the dramas on this list in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have for you guys today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.